Hey low level devils, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys how to run some of these tutorials in uh, Kemu or QEMU, however you want to pronounce it. Um, rather than running it in a virtual machine and or you know on your host machine and just rebooting every time you want to test changes, you can use Kemu as well. Mainly I wanted to start it off by showing how to run it in a virtual machine so that you see that you this is something you can actually run on real hardware as well so for this simple tutorial it'll only take a few minutes to run through I'm gonna install Kemu and show you how to actually set up your uh, MyOS directory as an image file that you can run in Kemu so let's get started I'm using the same VM that we set up as a development VM, which is Arch Linux. So let's start off by just launching console. Let me change the font size here and screen resolution so you can see a little better. Alright, let me resize that. So first I'm going to use Pacman to install Kemu. So just pa sudo pacman-s Kemu. Hit enter. Right. It'll only take a, a few seconds to install, really, depending on your uh, connection and all that. So once this is installed, I'm actually going to create the image file in our uh, Git locations. Actually, first let me go to the Mount My OS. See, these are all the different directories. We're essentially going to put this in an image file. So let me see. Let's go over to our Git location which I have in home git slash LLD then Linux OS yeah and now so yeah I'll put it just right in here so that's the directory I'm using now the first step is we're going to use this kemu dash image uh, utility dash img that is create and I'm going to call it my OS dot img let's see backslash yeah my os dot img I'll say it's 512 megs so it created this file here so now I'm gonna make fs ext4 on that file alright and now that created a file system on it now the next step is we want to uh, Actually, make a directory mount, and I'm going to actually mount that onto our, my MNT directory. So mount my OS dash t ext4 dash o loop. All right, and MNT. Oh, I need to use sudo for that. All right, so there we go. And I've actually created a script on GitHub for this too. So let's go to sudo cp. So I'm going to copy all the contents from mount my OS into that .mnt directory that I created. So now we need to unmount it after we've copied the files there. And now we can actually use that image to uh, boot with Kemu. So to do that we're going to run Kemu dash system da dash x86 underscore 64 dash kernel. We're going to give it a kernel, which I'm just going to use my own kernel on this machine, VM Linux. And init rd, this is the init ram fs. So now we want to do dash m 512m, so I'm going to give it 512 megs of ram. And let's see. There, we need to set some of these, uh, we're appending the uh, kernel parameters, so root equals slash dev slash sda, and we're going to actually set hda as the myos.image file. And uh, I think I need to, oh, I, I put the wrong file name there, so it should be boot slash initramfslinux.image. So there we go. And now we see that popped up this window and it's starting up loading the kernel and you see my OS and it launched Lash and we can run reboot. 
that's pretty much all you need to do. I actually put this in a uh, script as well, and I'll put a link to it in the uh, GitHub repository in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and all that, and thanks for watching.